Okay, so it's Sony from Sony's Florida Sports Report. I'm at one of my favorite places in Florida. That is the St. Pete Boxing Gym. These guys here are so cool, and I know you recognize these two gentlemen to my left and right. I've got Dan the Man Birmingham. He lays down the plan for this man, who is Keith. What is it? One time. Thurman. That's right. That's right. And we're going to get busy here a little differently in the gym. I know you're used to me and my heels and my hair did and, and all that good stuff, but they're going to show me something Your on that. a little strong. Oh, my God. <laughs> I perfumed it up for them, guys. I cleaned it up. We're going to do a little bit on the heavy bag and just give you a sense of what Keith and Dan may do on a daily basis. Now, I'm no match. For Keith Thurman, oh, but we're just gonna have a little fun today. I got a little bit of guns here. I got a little bit of guns. So show me a little something, Keith and Dan. What are we gonna do on the heavy bag today? Uh, first of all, we're gonna fix your glove. Okay. <laughs> my your that means <laughs> that means my wrist is too small. <laughs> all right. Let's see how you hold your hands. Let's see your position. This is my left stance. All right. Teacher Jack. Keith. All right. So all right. Keith is gonna show me a little bit on the heavy bag. What you gonna show me, Keith? First off, we're going to show you the basic punch, which is the jab, and we'll work our way to the right hand. Okay. okay. So, um, step back from the bag a little bit, create some okay. distance. All right. I was as, trying to be aggressive. <laughs> as, <laughs> as you extend okay. your left arm, take a small step forward with your left foot together as, as it comes out. There you go. Okay. And back, not down there, back to your chin, hands up. Okay. And back. There you go. There you go. That's a good jab. That's another one. Now, do I want to exhale when I let that jab go? Do I want to breathe or just let the breathing happen the way it's going to happen? It's just something that we fighters get used to doing. Okay, because you know, I hear this sometimes. Because you know in the martial arts, we give that key eye. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's so a little bit same, of that. It's about the same basis. Okay. You know? Um, if, you know, a lot of times when you really want to dig, uh -huh. like, um, let's get you to throw a right hand. You'll okay. you run a little bit there. So that's not yeah. going to go a little bit more to the body? Right. Oh, up, up here. Up top. Okay. Up top. Cross it. Now, there you go. Yep. Twist that hip and that foot. There you go. Look at that. There you go. Oh, we got a contract for you to sign. What is that? Right <laughs> shoulder forward. Okay. You want, you want the right? Forward. Yes, exactly. Left shoulder in the back. As you twist, okay. that's how it should be. That should become your lead shoulder. All right. All right, here we go. We got a fighter. We got a fighter. And then I want to bounce around and look tough after that, right? That's right. <laughs> you put the jab in front of you. Try to, try to do it as a combination. There you go. Sit down on the brain. Hey. Step four, straight. Try not to tilt. Try not to uh, go up. Tilt your body. You like, you like twist it here to push forward. Firm stance and direct. To recreate distance, yes. okay. Um, in a real fight scenario, it's a little different. A lot of times, when you move forward, your opponent's moving backwards. Okay. Thus, you might not have to move backwards. But on the bag, you have to continue to re um, create the proper distance to execute your punches. Okay. So now we're gonna add that. Uh, add that. It, it originally was a straight right. Now it's the straight left. Here we go, folks. Let's see what I got. You can fight both of them. It's dangerous. It's 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 All right, 
so that's a little work on the heavy bag. Now, let's see the champ do it a little bit. Show me how it's really done. Now, now he's bare hands, so he's not going to hurt himself before practice, but we want to see a little bit of how the champ will show and me up on this. In a real this. fight scenario, we always, everyone in every gym always says that the heavy bag doesn't hit back. Right. So people get real used to mm -hmm. throwing their punches and bringing their hands back below their chin on the heavy bag because the heavy bag doesn't hit back. Mm -hmm. But to prepare yourself for in the ring experience, you should always have your hands up. Always, in my opinion, they should always be touching your face in some yeah. shape so okay. that you protect yourself. If you release the left hand, this is on your face to protect yourself. And you bring it right back. Okay. So when you throw the right hand, regardless of if it's a lead, or off the one-two, this hand needs to be up. You say from the chin, back to the chin. That's how one time does it in the sanctum of the St. Pete Boxing Gym.